have another Tom Holland contract update for you here at Small Screen. And again, this comes from a trusted source inside Marvel and Disney. As always, we're super busy here at Small Screen. Yeah, I'm very busy. What's going on? Especially with the Spider-Man No Way Home hype building to a frenzy as the film is about to release. So we'll keep this brief and get right into it. Please like, subscribe, and quack the notification bell. We received this information pretty fast as our source thinks the major trades will be running this very soon, unless they wait until after Spider-Man No Way Home hits theaters. Regardless, our source says that it's absolutely hectic at the studio offices right now. As we reported in our previous update video, we've known for a while now that Sony and Marvel have been trying to negotiate a deal with Tom. Sony and Marvel are extremely desperate for Tom Holland to stay. They might have come to a decision, but it's going to mean big changes in the MCU and Sony's Spider-Verse moving forward. Tom has been adamant that he doesn't want to become typecast as Spider-Man. That's been a sticking point for him, but also he loves playing Spidey. Our source goes on to say that it looks like they've come up with a plan for the character's future. Tom Holland's big point in these negotiations is that he wants to make sure Marvel brings in Miles Morales into the MCU, and he wants to help with casting. So expect the casting process to start pretty soon. Tom will also be involved in multiple Sony Spider-Verse projects, and it could result in Tom Hardy breaking into the MCU. This is still being worked out. And then there's one more piece of big news about this deal from our source. They said it does look like this deal will run for at least three more MCU movies, and potentially two Sony Spider-Verse films, which makes it five films in total that he'll be involved in as Spider-Man. Wow, that's a lot of information to take in. So, Tom Holland doesn't want to play Spider-Man forever in fear of being typecast. We just recently reported on small screen that he stated he would be done playing Spider-Man when he was 30. That's five years from now. Combined with the fact that he's adamant about Sony and Marvel bringing in Miles Morales as soon as possible, this leads us to believe that he's wanting Spider-Man's character to end up being more of a mentor. A la Tony Stark in the previous phase of the MCU, this would make it realistic for him to appear in three more Marvel films and two more Sony films by the time he turns 30. Remember kids, Articles like Tom Holland wants to stop playing Spider-Man when he turns 30 are public negotiation tactics with the studio. Actors like to say this stuff in interviews so they can turn up the heat during negotiations. What's also interesting is that Tom Hardy coming over to the Marvel Cinematic Universe could be a byproduct of these negotiations. Sony still wants to work with Marvel. They'll want to keep that gravy train of MCU money coming as long as possible. So, with Tom Holland wanting to finish playing Spider-Man by the time he's 30, Sony's connection with Marvel Studios starts to dwindle. But bringing in Tom Hardy as Venom into the MCU would keep co-productions between the studios alive. After all, these co-produced Spider-Man films have been incredibly successful for Marvel and especially Sony. Remember, Sony wasn't doing so well before Spider-Man Homecoming. And lastly, before we go, Miles Morales. This kind of confirms he won't be in Spider-Man No Way Home. Unless he makes a quick appearance in costume and doesn't have any dialogue, we won't be seeing him in the film as they haven't begun the casting process yet. Sorry Miles Morales fans. But, take it to heart that Tom Holland is fighting hard to bring Miles Morales into the MCU and Sony films as soon as possible. Let us know in the comments what you're most excited or disappointed about, or any theories you have on where they will take all of this. We do read all of them. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and quack that Quack. notification bell. It really helps our channel grow, and it's free. But seriously, it does help a lot. And every time we get a sub, it makes us want to dance. We can dance if we want to, we can leave your friends behind. Cause if your friends don't dance, and if they don't dance, well they're no friends of mine. Hey. This has been Dan Plum on voice, and that James Guy on edits. Thanks for watching, and see you next time!